say happy birthday. <laughs> but yeah, where are we going? Yeah, but where are we going? Uh, Toronto Island. Yeah, I've never been. Me too. Well, yeah, she's been. Yeah. So I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, her shoes, everything is well. Wow. This is the first line. So, yeah. It's about you, it's not about us. Oh, no. so. <laughs> I mean, what we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys. Sorry, guys. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. We have, we brought blankets. So if you want to sit on the ground. Of course. <laughs> Touch that. 
when we start to understand, when we start to know, if we don't yield by working out what God is working in us, then it's pretty much there's no fruit, right? Buzz, buzz, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to you have to work it out by yielding to the transformation. To, to the transformation where God is working in. Okay, so basically God is doing something in, you need to do you need to, now to express it out from what God is doing in you. Okay, 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 good, good. Che- um, Deborah, do you have anything? <laughs> Chem Duma, did you read anything? No, it's not this morning. I know. But outside, something I've been like. Meditating on. Sure, sure. Joshua chapter one verse eight. I can't remember like what actually led me to that scripture. Right now I was reading the you know, in the book of Psalms, and then uh, yeah, I went to this book of the Lord. So for the first time, actually, it dawned on me that this book of the Lord shall not depart depart out of thy mouth. And then it says, "For oh, thou shalt meditate." So there's there's correlation between the meditation. And your mouth. Mm. Right. So, like Wait, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like the book of God shall not be part of the right mouth, but I shall meditate on it, right? So, so it has to be in your mouth yes, for you yes, to yes, meditate like, on it. Yeah. So like. Oh. The affirmation, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But no. But the word of God. But the word of God. I don't watch me. I know how to say. Let me. Let me correct if I'm wrong. We're not oh, thinking. We're meditating. You're just there, like. But I think she means like. I just hope. My part of meditation is professing. Professing like, that oh, word. Well, maybe like saying it. Yeah. Right. So I, I have set the Lord before me, for example. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Said Lord before me. Lord okay. Before me, Lord okay. Me, Lord okay. Right okay. 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 So you're saying you I get it. I get it. So, Festus. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> so, um. What were you saying? <laughs> what were you yeah, saying? Oh, what was it? That you read this morning or you've been meditating on this week or something? Uh-uh. Wait on, oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. I've been preaching. He has to stand up. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Oh. You cannot waste it. Okay. Well. Um, I just want to say, maybe you should always uh, transfer to the first. Because, um, see, in this society, we can, be, we can get carried away. It takes one who's very disciplined to actually, you know, take a step back and say, hey, um, I've come this far, like, I didn't just come here by myself, like, it wasn't as a result of my power, it wasn't as a result of my, my financial status, you know, status. Mm-hmm. but I came here because God wants me to be here, God wants me here. So, I have to have the back of Thank you. Good word. Frederick. Huh? Did you anything today? Anything today? I'm going to wait at me. Or in the week or something. Don't you know? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, what's one way you want to? grow in your work with God and your spiritual life? Um, I could pray more and meditate more and read the Bible more because usually I don't I don't have a lot of time. Pairing with other people like like going to church which I'm working on <laughs> or like having you know a friend who you're reading the Bible with or coming to Bible study because then you are getting in, you are getting an intake of the word, right? And they can motivate you to personally go and like study the word for yourself, right? Because sometimes it's like, oh, okay, we are studying this next week. You can just read it literally the hour before, and that's your own personal Bible time. 
Do you know what I mean? I so it's yeah. a thing of like you don't have to like say, oh, okay. Like if it's hard, it can be just be ten minutes. Like, yeah. I think one thing I struggle with five minutes. Like, yeah. Oh, I can't do it because if I do it now, it's take me like ah oh, one hour. Oh, uh, you know, but like no, I have to connect to the heavens. Yes. <laughs> 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 but like when I just tell myself, okay, if I just try and do at least ten minutes a day, it becomes easier. Another thing, thank you. Yeah, another thing I do <laughs> is to study on the go. So like if I'm coming from work. Like I do overnight, so sometimes I come from work in the night and I'm not too sleepy. I would try to use the U version app. The, it's, a, it's a Bible app, so it has a U version. It's really short. You just read this, meditate, whatever the Holy Spirit inspires you, pray on it. You know, and you try to think about that during the day or something going with your life. That's my on the go. On the go, never missing um, time with God. Like, t- go to. And then when I have time, no, you know. Face the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the verse of the day. And, and you put the reminder, the verse will even come up. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. Thank God for it. Alright, Ruth. Oh, wait, actually. I said my When did she say I would? She said Ruth chapter 2. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, how could yeah, I forget? <laughs> Let's, uh, I should not forget the word. You know, as we are doing things, you don't really need to sing out loud. But like every minute, your mind, your heart, it's like at times like when I'm even walking I don't even know I just start singing like praises like just keep myself busy like yeah. every minute you have if you know that okay maybe later on you'll be occupied with something just try and fill your mind and your soul with like the word of God the song his music just praise him mm-hmm. praise is enough to move God you don't need to like overdo things but that little praise you give him can work miracles so mm-hmm. just keep on in your mind and heart with songs of praise, yeah, hey, and worship. What's your go to worship song now? Mm, I have a lot. <laughs> Does this you bow one? Oh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can sing, I can sing with my head. What's the name? What's the name? Um, I would, I would sing the English version. Okay. I'm not going to sing it, I'm going to see it so that you guys can see the size of your face. Um, we're bigger than what could you say? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that, Ebuka? Ebuka! Ah, yes, Ebuka! I'm not the main event. We do! None of us! None of us are the main event! No, I'm not even the main event. God is the main event. I just have to match. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just have to match. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm, I've eaten, I'm fed. Everyone is fed. This guy just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> he said I will finish everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, good, it's, good. And, uh, it's nice to like gather together and share the word. You know, that's how we have inspiration and you know, God is always with us. So. Amen. So share the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is what is something that you're hoping for God to do for you in this season? Peace of mind. Mm. Peace of mind. Especially with what's going on in the world, like the uncertainty and the upheaval, all that stuff. We just need like wisdom to navigate life's issues. Body, you need. That's what I need. Oh, okay, okay. Guidance, counsel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you just said guidance, counsel. Sometimes that means seeking after that guidance from, right. you know, mentors and people around you. So try and do that. Not the word well, how can you? Not only. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, sir. Yes, 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 sir. I feel like when you say finding yeah. mentors and some like mm-hmm. things like that, right? I feel like it's hard to do mm. because it's it's not like there are a lot out there, right? Mm. Like how do you I guess one they yeah, come to church, but I feel like even sometimes within church, I feel like I have a lot of fear to go and yeah. Because I mean let's just be frank. Yeah. Because people are like yeah, like our mommy. I can't be. Can I mommy? Hi. Can I come and say, ah, how can you do You have to like share details. Oh, God, so like, yeah. how do you even know who to trust? How do you know who is available to help you? Yeah. Like, 
how can you find somebody who you can and someone that is like older and more mature? Yeah. I think it starts with someone who you feel like a consistent relationship with. Because I know from personal experience, um, I don't know how many of you know Sister Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I like it. That first step in asking for help really does sound look scary, especially when you think about you know our culture in the church and you know, Nigerians and not just Nigerians, but just like how we view mental health and those kind of topics. And so going to her for like just or for guidance and like you know how do I cope with this? You know it was scary, but knowing that. The initial basis was that she wouldn't tell my parents. You know, it was going to stay between us. And I think having that privacy. Jojo! Having that um, privacy and, you know, that kind of consent that I won't tell your parents, you won't, you know, go to. I guess the outside world and seek for help without you know consulting someone else within the church as well because you don't know where that outside help will lead you to like down a bad path and like it might just you know make your situation worse um so just having that trust and having that um what's the word connection i guess that both of you agree that I won't tell anyone as long as you will be consistent in coming back to me for help in case you do get worse and in case you do um, feel like you're in a situation that is like so bad that you personally feel like you can't help it. Yeah. Um, so just, yeah. And so Let me know. 